St. Patrick's Day was the first holiday hit hard by the pandemic, but as Tracy Lair reports, the holiday seems to be having more luck this year. Pub crawlers enjoyed this impromptu show by Irish dancing champion Alana Callahan and her student outside Dargan's. Well, Irish dancing is one of the biggest holidays for us to celebrate the Irish culture and share the dance and the music. We also are both Irish musicians as well as dancers. The turnout led to lines, but no one seemed to mind. Just to drink with friends. <laughs> Everything got shut down last year, so just to hang out with friends this year. I think it's maybe exciting if things could be returning back to normal. Bartenders say they are still taking precautions in the less restrictive red tier. The industry in Santa Barbara is being really safe about COVID, and so I think we're kind of lightening up a little bit and you know trying to celebrate. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Business owners say they didn't have the luck of the Irish last year, but this St. Pat's feels different. We'll definitely be toasting for St. Patty's Day. It's everybody feels so much better and 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 a little bit more alive. You feel the town waking up a little bit, and and it, it, it's a good feeling right now. And so we have some specials tonight. We're going to be doing corned beef and cabbage. Uh, we have a couple of drink specials as well. So definitely a little more traditional St. Patty's. And you didn't have to be Irish to enjoy it, but Irish eyes are smiling. It's my high only day because I am three quarters Irish and one quarter Italian just to keep it interesting. <laughs> Feels like you're on top of the world. It's the High Holy Day, St. Patrick's Day. It's just amazing to be able to share that love with everyone. Vaccinations have also helped business. Some people say they felt safe to come out because they've been vaccinated. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair. Mm -hmm.